Hello everyone, my name is Chad and welcome back uh, to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something, I'm going to be I'm gonna be ranting about something because I just went to check my analytics for my channel and something that really bothered me is this little, this little thing right here in the top, this little, uh, this little blue bar, it says important, all creators are obligated to take action to comply with a child's online privacy protection act and or other laws, review your channel settings channel and video settings. So you click this right here and it takes me to a page that says, audience, simplify your workflow by selecting a channel setting. If you skip this question, you'll be required to e identify each video on your channel that is made for kids. This setting will affect existing and future videos. Settings for individual videos will override the channel settings. Do you want to set your channel as made for kids? Regarding, regardless of your location, you're legally required to comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, COPA, and other laws. You're required to tell us whether your videos are made for kids, what content's made for kids. Alright, let's click this because I haven't read this part yet. Determining if your content is made for kids, regardless of your location, blah, blah, blah. We provide some guid guidance on what is considered made for kids below, but we cannot provide legal advice. If you are unsure whether your videos meet this standard, we suggest you seek legal counsel. Okay, first the fuck all, why the fuck do I need to go talk to a lawyer to make sure that my videos are for kids or not? What am I, what do you, we fucking mean? What does that even mean? I, 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 am I supposed to call up a lawyer and be like, excuse me, Mr. Manns, my lawyer person, which, by the way, uh, what fucking normal individual just has a lawyer in their back pocket ready to whip it out at any time like it's a fucking pistol at a Walmart? No. Okay. No one does. Okay. Second of all, it's not... What does it matter what, if my content's made for children or not? It shouldn't matter. Because if it did... If, if a kid wants to find my video regardless, they will find it. That is, that's just how it is. When I was a kid, I probably watched things I shouldn't have. But guess what? Uh, n d nothing happened? No one got in trouble? No one linked my private information? And even if they did, I was 12 years old. Wh what kind of private information do I have other than my, secu like my social security number? This is fucking ridiculous. Anyway, according to the FTC's guidance on COPA, a, a video is child-directed, which we call made for kids. No shit. Children are primary, primary audience based on the factors described below. Children are not primarily the audience, but the video is directed to kids based on the factors below. Which, when deciding whether or not your channel or video is made for kids, you should consider the various factors. Okay? The subject matter of the video. Educational purposes, educational content for preschoolers. You're telling me. Since there is a there's a sliver of the YouTube community that makes educational content for preschool children, the the same children that spit on their hands and slap their forehead. Uh, I need to make sure that 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 I don't have any. You know, they get their whole section for that. Really? Uh, so you're telling me that a. You're telling me that I can't make a video that that covers a wide range of audiences. Is that what you're saying? So I can't. So so if I make content that is for a a large audience of various ages, that I that I that well actually now that I think about it, you can't do that anymore. That you just can't. Whether children are intended or actual audience for the video is is the second one. What does that mean? Okay, so I'm supposed to, now I'm supposed to go into making a video with more thoughts than just okay. Here's this video that I want to make. Am I going to make it a Rainbow Six Siege video, for instance, the the main focal point of my channel recently? Um, am I am I supposed to be like well? <laughs> Do kids play Rainbow Six Siege? Because if you ask that question, there are 10-year-olds playing Rainbow Six Siege who want to watch Rainbow Six Siege videos. And then there are adults who play Rainbow Six Siege and want to watch Rainbow Six Siege videos. So how am I supposed to know? What if my content is just 
specifically for people who just want to watch Rainbow Six Siege videos. That is my audience, okay? My audience isn't children who, <coughs> excuse me, I'm angry, who want to watch Rainbow Six Siege videos. My content isn't for adults who want to watch Rainbow Six Siege video, videos. My content is for people who want to watch Rainbow Six Siege videos. Whether a video includes a child or actors or models. Okay. How many people are out there videotaping their children? And if so, if they're a child actor, they probably put that in the description of the video. With you, like, with it, for an example, uh, Amaletto probably does that, you know? If they're a child actor, they're a, a, a child who is getting into acting, right? Why does that matter? Why do I have to tell people that that's in there? And if you're a big channel that does, like, um, short films, usually you'll... In the description of the video, there's probably credits to all of the actors in the video. What, what, so if I have a child actor in a video, is that for kids? Or is it for a different audience? It doesn't matter. None of this shit matters. Um, whether your video includes characters, celebrities, or toys that may appear appeal to children included animated characters or cartoon figures what does that mean if i have a video and i put a cartoon in it does that make it automatically for children because if so that's fucking retarded if i played a clip from pokemon that was a pokemon uh episode that aired 10 years ago when i was a kid um does that make it for kids no it doesn't it's a reference but i have to Go into YouTube and select if it's for kids or not. You are literally limiting the view pool for people in a smaller position or a smaller channel. That's fucking stupid. Whether the language of the video, uh, whether the language of the video is intended for children to understand. So you're telling me that I have to parent other people's kids. I have to not curse or I just limit my own view, view pool, pool. Is that what you're telling me right now? Because if it is, that doesn't make any sense either. None of this shit makes any sense. Uh... Whether the video includes activities to appeal, that appeal to children, such as play, acting, simple songs, or games, or early education. So, if I make a satirical video of me playing with Barbie dolls, and say a simple, simple little song... That sounds like one thing, but is actually something else. Like, uh, or games that are for kids in a sense. I have to, what, what is that? Is that also for kids as well? Is that, is that what that is? Be because sometimes sat under the, under the umbrella term of satire, I can make an entire Ryan's toy review video in my room using, uh, my fucking, I got a little, I got a little fucking, uh, Infernape toy. That I've had for years. It's going in my backdrop. So if if I put that in a video. Or I do something with it. It appeals to kids. I'll, according to these. These guidelines that you have put down below. Right here for us to read. You are basically saying. That um. If I do something that has to relate to kids. I'm probably kid friendly. Um, what else? Whether the video, uh, whether the video includes songs, stories, or poem for children. That one I understand. But then again, satire. If I read a Dr. Seuss book on stream, for no other reason than to read a Dr. Seuss book on stream, for whatever reason I want to read a Dr. Seuss uh, book on stream, it shouldn't matter. The, the way that this is going and the way that YouTube is going is it's shutting down more and more avenues for people to accumulate views. Everything 
that that was is ridiculous. Anything that has been read just now is ridiculous. So, I only have three options here. I can say, yes, this channel is made for kids. I always want to upload content that's made for kids. No, this channel is not made for kids. I never upload content that's made for kids. Or I want to review this vi the settings for every video. So, basically, my three options are appeal to kids and lie. Say, no, this isn't made for kids, which is basically a lie. And then review every single video on whether or not it's suitable for kids. Listen. I'm only 19 years of age. I am a grown-ass man. And I know that it doesn't matter what I put on this, on this platform. It is the parents' responsibility to watch what their kids are watching. To monitor what content your kids consume. It'll never be my, my job. To tell you or tell your kids what they can and cannot watch. It is not my job to keep your kid from watching my videos. So YouTube, this is a message for you. Don't ever tell me how to run my channel. And don't ever make me bend to the will of other, ch other people's kids. It is not my job and it never will be. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos from me, my name is Chad Okay, and I will see. Uh, if you want to see more for videos from me, like and subscribe, and, and com leave a comment on what you think because I think this is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Uh, and I think that'll be it. Thanks, guys, so much for watching this video, and I will see you later.